Alrighty, Hosses, welcome back. And in this video, I am going to talk to you about DNS, how it started, what the heck it is, and why we need to use it today. So, at the core, DNS is a way that we can translate domain names such as the newboston.com to an IP address. Now, the way it started is about a thousand years ago, whenever computers were first starting to take over the world, whenever they were talking to each other, they could just use you know each other's IP address through basic networking that was fine but then one day they realize you know what we're eventually gonna take over the minds of humans and they are not anywhere near as smart as we are there's no freaking way that these dumb humans are gonna remember these IP addresses so we need to invent this thing called DNS now like I said all this is is a way that we can use domain names and have them automatically translated to IP addresses so that we can get to where we want to go. So what's going to happen is, let's say that this guy, who I keep marking, but now it looks like he has red hair. So this guy, red hair mohawk gentleman, he wants to go to the newboston.com to browse some dank memes. But in order to get there, he needs the IP address. Now he doesn't know it, you know, off the top of his head, and obviously it's not just stored on his laptop, you know, every IP address for every website in the world. So how the heck can he figure out the IP address of the website that he's never been to before? Well, what he does is in his browser he types in the newboston.com, so the newboston.com whatever. Now his browser is going to connect to a special server not the new Boston this is called a DNS server now this is a special server on the computer that actually has all the domain names and it correlates them to the IP address so somewhere in the file it says you know I'll shorten this the new Boston.com translates to 1.2.3.4 whatever so it's gonna look through its records and it's gonna say okay you dumb human here is the IP address so it sends it back and now he goes, oh, now I know, 192.3.4 is where I want to go. So then, you know, through internet magic, it connects to the new Boston, which is 1.2.3.4. And that is the basics of DNS, basically a way that the matrix allows us dumb humans to use domain names, and it automatically converts them to IP addresses for us. Now, if you guys want to check something else out cool, I'll show you guys this. Let me put my little stylus pen away. All right, so you know that I said that on that special DNS server somewhere out in the internet, it has a log of every domain name and every IP address, and it translates it for us. Well, this is actually called a host file, and believe it or not, you have, you know, like a minified version of this on your own computer and I'll show you where it is and why it's useful. So if you just pop open your computer and you go to C, Windows, and I'm sure it's different, but I'm using Windows 7. Um, you know, you probably never need to edit this, but if you just want to check out what it looks like, I'll show you. So go down to System 32 right here and go to Drivers, ETC, and Host. Now, if you double click this it doesn't have a file extension so it's not gonna know how the heck to open it but if we just right click it and open it in notepad then we can see that this is your host file now right now ours is very limited because you know we really don't need a huge one we're not a DNS server but you're at least gonna have this one address right here so essentially what it is is a log of IP addresses and then after it the domain name so it says whenever you type this into your browser or anywhere on your computer translate it to this IP address so the reason that I have these is because I wanted to set up a local um, development site for you know my website that I'm working on and I didn't want to host it online so now whenever I type tnb minus dev.com it just goes to you know my own actually show you guys so Right here, um, this is the site I'm working on, tnb-dev.com. However, if you guys go to it, you're not going to see any of this because um, this is only set up for my own computer. So if I right click and, you know, show you guys something. Let me refresh this page, check it out. 
So you can see that this is actually hosted on my own computer. Now just something to watch out for real quick. If you ever, you know, go to let's say your bank's website and you try to log in or you go to Facebook or something and you notice that it's a little off, sometimes what hackers do is they get into your computer and they put something like Facebook right here and instead of going to Facebook's IP address they have some website set up that looks just like Facebook or just like your bank and then whenever you type your credentials in then it gets sent to their server and you you know don't really know the difference so look at your host file make sure it's all clean make sure there's not something you know some stupid hacker did to it and then you're good to go so like I said you're never really gonna need to edit that but just thought I'd show you guys one other thing I want to show you guys is this you guys may be wondering alright so whenever I typed in the newboston.com and I didn't have the address yet how did it know where the DNS server was I mean it needed the IP of this so how did it automatically have this server well I will show you guys that right now and whenever you um, like first get your computer or you first set up your internet a lot of the stuff is automatically configured and also I believe whenever you download like a Chrome browser for the first time I think they may tweak some stuff but if you guys want to see in more detail then if you go to start menu in your control panel the easiest way is just probably type in view network connections right here and just right click any of these and select properties and if you go down to IPv4 and hit properties check it out so what this is saying is whenever you're trying to go to a website and you don't have the IP address of that yet then get it from these DNS servers now you're probably gonna have different ones than this because whenever you first set up your internet they give you a default one I actually have these these are Google's DNS servers and I never had a problem with them and I changed them because I actually tried to get online and it said hey you have a problem with your DNS server so I guess it went down or it was misconfigured or something so I just went on my phone and found uh, Google's and like I said Google's are a lot better than my internet provider since you know Google kinda knows what they're doing it seems like but there you go that's what computer it looks at whenever it needs an IP address and well there you go that's the basics of how DNS works basically really simple it's how you take a domain name and translate it into an IP address so you can connect to that computer boom roasted see you guys next time